One of my favorite things to do is talk to members of our community and just hear about their experience with the Sisters Enchanted. And today we're talking to a community member who just shared with me that she was two different expansion archetypes and then was another one when she took the expansion archetypes quiz. And we're going to definitely ask about that today because I would love to know if that, you know, how a person notices that in their life. Um, and, and that's what we're doing on today's episode of the podcast. We know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Welcome to this episode of Expedition to Soul. I'm Sarah, founder of the Sisters Enchanted, and I'm joined today by another Sarah, Sarah Kearney, one of our community members here. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. So... This is actually our first time talking together on camera, right? That I can think yes. of. Yeah. Um, and so thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> I'm happy to be here and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, why don't you kick us off by telling the listeners and some of your your peers in our Holistic Witchery program, uh, you know, just kind of a little bit about you, like the the basics, the life basics. <laughs> I'm a mom of three adult children. I live in the Pacific Northwest in Vancouver, Washington. Let's see, other cool things about me. I've always been fascinated by personal growth um, and learning about myself. And um, I love to be outside. I love to read. I am a bibliophile. That is a fun fact about me. I love books fiction, nonfiction, and uh, side note, I highly recommend Nora Roberts. Um, <laughs> she has a dr- three-part series called the Dragonheart series. So good. Yeah. So yeah. magical. It's amazing. Um, yeah. Bibliophile. I'm married to an awesome guy who makes me laugh every day at myself and my choices <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's, I'm a pretty awesome human. I work full time in my muggle job. (laughs) Can we just pause for a minute and highlight that you just said, I'm a pretty awesome human. Like (laughs) how cool is it that you're the kind of person that's just like, yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. So many people wouldn't say that, Sarah. That's brilliant. I want to just, everybody listening to this, say that to yourself right now. I'm a pretty awesome person. I am a pretty awesome person. (laughs) Yeah, it sounds like it. And I love that. Laughing every day is important. Reading all those books is important. Doing all those things. Um, Getting outside. You sound, you are a pretty awesome person. I mean, you were, I would have said you were even before I knew those things because everybody deserves to be a pretty awesome person. But I love that you said that. Thank you for saying that. Oh, thank you. Thank I hope you. somebody else says that today after hearing you say that. I hope so too. Oh, that's, <laughs> if nothing else, that is the perfect thing. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Well, I would love to know a couple things about you. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions because you are in our holistic witchery program and I want to know about that. I also want to know about your expansion archetypes because you mentioned those two, but let's start with holistic witchery. So as a pretty awesome person, (laughs) what, (laughs) what was it that made you, um, come join us in holistic witchery? What was, what was the reason? Like, what was the, where was your head at on the the time that you decided (laughs) to come hang out with us? (laughs) I am so glad you asked that. So, um, Interesting story. Last August, I was part of another coaching community 
And one of the themes in that coaching community that came up for me personally was bold confidence. I wanted to have bold confidence in myself. And so I said, okay, universe, bold confidence. And the universe delivered in a very surprising way with the tower card. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, September 9th, some um, experiences, I choose not to share those because I've let those go. Yeah. But um, literally at work, an oak tree crashed down. Um, and I got to leave early for a vacation and in the process of doing that came across something that shattered my confidence in myself. Um, and <laughs> at the time it was, it was tricky to move through it. I went into a pretty severe depression, um, for a period of time and then Interestingly, right around that time period, the expansion archetypes popped up on my Facebook feed, I think. And I said, oh, that looks like fun. Interesting. And it's a different energy and a different vibe than the other coaching program that I was involved in. Um, and I said, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Which is my beautiful adventure going, oh, something yeah. shiny and new. Let's pursue <laughs> that. <laughs> and it turns out that at that time, I was an adventurer archetype and wanderer, I think. I, I would have to look at my little screenshot. Um, and at the end of that, I had a conversation that was very adventurer-like um, where I just flah, <laughs> verbal <laughs> diarrhea, please pardon the expression, <laughs> all over Ed and um, who's my husband. And um, that conversation amazingly was the shift. And at the end of that uh, magic week was what it was called. And I was very drawn to that. And at the end of Magic Week, the Holistic Witchery program opened up and, oh, I'm getting a little teary. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> for the first time, I, instead of just putting it on a credit card and saying, oh yeah, let's try this thing. I actually thought about it um, and I talked to Ed for the very first time. So that was really life-changing because the other coaching programs I had done, I would just put it into my account. Um, we have, we choose to do our finances separately and that works for us. Um, and I would just spend the money and uh, just worry about how I was going to pay for it later. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, I sat down with him and said, hey, there's this opportunity. I know I've done other coaching programs before. Um, this one, I'm not, and I actually said this, and I was pretty proud of myself for this too, not with an attitude, but it was speaking my truth. I said, I'm not asking for your permission. I am telling you, I'm going to do this, and I wanted to share that with you and let you know that I'm really feeling very called to do this. And I, I did after having that conversation, then I signed up very intentionally. And then I, I cherry pick <laughs> the bits. <Yeah. laughs> um, I have not completed it yet. I've had two opportunities to complete it. And um, there's more for me in each of the sections that I delve into. And yeah. um, oh, shoot, I wish I would have brought my little spiral three ring notebook out here. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just took all the pages and put them in my three inch binder. <laughs> A lot of pages. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> 
Ha. Ah. So that is, that's why I felt very called. Um, the energy in the Sisters Enchanted, I love the podcast, brew up something delicious and sit yeah. with us. <laughs> I, I really do. I love that. Um, and I really enjoy the energy that is very grounded and magical all at the same time. I felt very drawn to that. Aww. Um, I love that. When you when you took the expansion archetypes, you said that you you took it the first time and you you were an adventurer and you think wanderer, which um based on what you said, I would guess you probably had some wanderer second, if not tied <laughs> right there. Um <laughs> based on what you're sharing and that this time or you took it recently or the last time you took it rather the uh uh, result was uh different you had the mapper as your Mm -hmm. so have you seen that in your life how they're can you pinpoint like notice that it's different in your life or is it is it just kind of a thing no it was really interesting um I the it was kind of an intentional internal shift subconsciously though which sounds really weird but we'll go with that um so once i got those feelings out as the adventurer and said this is how i'm feeling and um just bleh, and then um in december and january i stepped in oh 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 there was another (laughs) another thing that's really awesome about me i am a thespian (laughs) a director i am very passionate about the performing arts and it's it's a deep love and i think we transform the world and make it a more beautiful and gorgeous place um through expression in our creativity Um, and theater is how I do that. And I'm really good at it. Wow. (laughs) I love this so much. (laughs) The bold confidence is really coming out today. Uh (laughs) Um, so, uh, I had been involved in a theater company where I was the artistic director. Um, and that was a lot of responsibility. I was, um, I chose to take on the responsibility of supporting directors and actors in successfully putting on productions. Um, and during COVID, uh, we had to shut down. It was required. We couldn't be on stage. And during that time, I, the gift of COVID for me was um, sitting back and saying, I'm traveling 80 miles plus a day. I'm getting home at midnight. I'm getting up to go to my muggle job at 6 a.m. Um, and I am spending maybe two hours at home. And before it was like, I'm doing this. This is really cool. Look how amazing I am. And the COVID gift for me was, okay, I like being home. I like spending time with Ed. I like (laughs) not having to do things. And um, there, there was a, a resentment that was building in me and uh um in october of last year right after the tower card uh-huh. <laughs> um i turned in my keys and said i am retiring i am complete with this artistic directing and that uh, was so liberating. It it just lightened me up. Now back to your question. Um, the adventurer shift to mapper, um, (laughs) uh, in December, I was invited by a theater company to direct a show. Um, I've directed before, so I knew what I was taking on and the show, um, 
I said an intentional yes to that. And I found it super interesting that I, my adventurer actually took time to think about it um, before I said yes. And then, um, so that was October when I took that expansion art type quiz. And then November and December, I sat in the energy of, do I wanna do this? Do I not wanna do this? January, I said yes. And then um, in the process of doing the directing, I um, took the second Magic Week expansion archetype and I thought, oh yeah, definitely directing is a lot of mapper energy. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think that my external circumstances probably mm -hmm. had a lot to do with that shift, but also um, I'm discovering that I, love a good plan. Yeah. I, I just, I, it feels very comfortable to me to mm -hmm. know, okay, here's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> now the follow through. Interesting is like that adventure too, is really, um, like doing for others before you're putting yourself like, cause it's like, like, I want to just do things. Like I want, I want to do it. I want to say, yes, I want to be in there. And how, uh -huh. when you were doing the theater directing before the art direction or creative that work before it was, you know, very like, um, I want to do this. I want to say yes to this, but not with intention where that mapper energy is mm -hmm. more with intention. So yeah, it all comes together how it was an intentional. Yes. And uh, where you find yourself then in a different energy. And that's what I love about the expansion archetypes is that you have them all within you and it's different than other personality things in that it's not fixed because very much where you are in life will impact which archetype you are. Um, yeah, and then help you yeah. see though, you know, where in that archetype are you? Because with all of them, there's the shadow and the light, you know, and where might you fall into the shadow versus the expansion of it so anyway that's such a good that's such reaffirming evidence to me that <laughs> oh for that, sure that it makes sense <laughs> um so you've shared so much I would love to know is there a specific thing you noticed that was that's been different for you since you since you joined us in in holistic witchery or with the expansion archetypes I mean you mentioned so many different great <laughs> kind of in more intentional way of being, but is there anything else you'd like to highlight or just reinforce the, these intentional yeses? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me think about that. So the intentional yeses saying yes to myself, um, and in this particular iteration, is that the right word for holistic witchery too? Yes, yes. Um, the, I'm loving the conjuring abundance and how that is, um, I'm saying an intentional yes to my financial freedom. Um, is this answering the question? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, just, you know, if somebody is listening to this and they're like, you know what? what happens when a person takes holistic witchery, you know, cause it's such a, like the program itself, it's, it's robust. And I think that the, if I were to find like a weakness within talking about it is that it, it's a program that doesn't solve one specific thing, right? Like it's a container yeah. for solving and growing in anything. But that yeah. in that though, it's challenging to say like, yeah, this is what it does because it's like really this paintbrush for anything. It's, yeah. It's a big, <laughs> it's a life-size canvas. <laughs> okay. I, uh, um, <laughs> another thing that I've learned in holistic witchery and magic week, um, I am a visual learner. Um, and so I'm seeing this huge life-size canvas where you get to paint all the things 
that are important to me about holistic witchery? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We should do like a contest or something where everybody makes a visual representation of holistic witchery. And then I don't know what we do with them, oh. but that would be really fun. <laughs> okay. And I want mine to be in there. Um, I just, in the, um, in the circle app thingy, <laughs> Yeah, I just created a page for part of my three ring binder. Um, and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of this artistic endeavor of mine. It's this little, I made this little witchy cauldron, um, <laughs> cut out. <laughs> And I put little pull out things into it. They look like little raindrops, only I put them in upside down. And um, I actually successfully posted a picture of it in the Circle app this morning. That's really cool. <laughs> and it's like this little, it's this little pop up thing um, where you can pull those out. And they're what I want to release. Um, inspired by the holistic witchery and conjuring abundance and how my thoughts affect. But um, so this cauldron, and then I made little flames underneath. It's so cute. I'm really proud of this oh, artwork. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, let's so do the our first art contest. Yeah, first contribution. <laughs> yes. You're ahead that of your kicks time. it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. Oh, so good. I love hearing your stories. I love hearing about how you talk about yourself. I love that you participated and that you're looking at your expansion archetype and noticing how that's playing out in your life. So good. So good. Are you ready to do a little this or that? We'll oh, yes, you. please. All right. <laughs> so if you're new listening, if you're, if you've never listened to this before, this or that is I just list a few things and then Sarah here is going to pick which one she prefers. We've got. How oh, many? and before we get started on this. Yeah. Um, yeah. A little caveat. One of the mm. other things that I have discovered recently in my shadow work is um, not only do I love a good plan, but I also am releasing my deathly fear of making choices. Ooh. So. So that yes. is real interesting that you're a mapper right now too, because that is the shadow very much of a mapper is looking for somebody else to tell them where to go. Uh -huh. to uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday I had an experience of making a choice of, do I want peppermint or eucalyptus? <laughs> I chose <laughs> eucalyptus. <laughs> Start small. <laughs> exactly so we'll see how this this or that goes <laughs> yeah right all right well we've got 10 of them and I just added one more so three are new to the list from any other time we've done it all Perfect. right let's go number one coffee or tea <laughs> both <laughs> <laughs> Coffee in the morning and tea, um, my personal favorite today, and it's perfect and beautiful and um, elderberry and lemon drop and lemon oh. balm is oh. so good. And it's purple. That sounds good. I feel like. I <laughs> All right. Your next one. Do you prefer? Oh, you answered this one though. This one's a, anyway, I guess I'll ask you reading or listening, like reading a book or listening. <laughs> I know, but you answer this. Both, but um, <laughs> definitely a good book in my hands is My Happy Place. Yeah. All right. This one, do you prefer, when you're outdoors, would you prefer to be by water or in the land? Like in the Oh, woods by water, 100%, water. which surprises me because I'm a fire sign. So I think that that's providing balance for the sunny Leo energy that I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Are you Water, a Leo sun? Down. I am. Yeah. yeah. Do you know your, um, rising and your moon sign? I think I know my moon sign and my rising sign. I have no idea, but moon, I'm a Libra. Interestingly. Oh. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe your, maybe your, your moon. Cause that's, you know, Libra 
balance a little bit there. Justice, mm-hmm. scales of justice. Maybe you just like everything to be even, which is why you don't like to make choices. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Well, I don't know if that's real. So don't hold me to that. But <laughs> throw no, it out. I think that is inspired. I think that's inspired for sure. Inspired. <laughs> um, all right. Your next one. Um, do you prefer the spring season or the autumn season? Autumn, hands autumn. down, autumn because oh, of the smells and the sights and the visuals and the cozy blankets and the the earth is hugging the, the trees are hugging the earth with the leaves that are falling down and the bright vivid colors autumn hands down <laughs> I love that when you do make a decision it's a very passionate one you're you're all in on it you know when you know you know all right your next one do you, you prefer tarot cards or oracle cards? Ah. <laughs> tarot and the shadowscapes and the goddess deck. <gasps> I just got the goddess deck. Sarasvati is on the cover of that and she literally jumped off the shelf at me. <laughs> so good. All tarot. right. Yes. <laughs> this one. And I don't know. I always ask this question because where I live, one of these is a pretty big deal, but you are all the way on the other side of the country. So I don't know. This is a food one. Tacos or pizza? Taco pizza. (laughs) (laughs) And yes, we have the taco pizza at Papa Murphy's, which is a take and bake place. It's it comes and goes, though, and it it makes me so mad when they take it off the menu. (laughs) <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where where I live in the country, pizza is like a pretty big thing here. It's very competitive who has the best pizza. So, asking the question tacos or pizza, but I do also like myself a taco pizza. It's just everything on one. <laughs> you know what? And I'm going to make a decision and I'm going to say pizza. Yeah. And he, yeah, yeah. And Papa Murphy's. I don't know if you guys have that. It's a take and bake pizza place. So um, if the pizza etiquette on your side of the country is uh, more refined. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you guys have Papa Murphy, but they have a thin crust here. They have a thin crust um, spinach, artichoke and bacon. So so good. So good. I could just eat pizza all the time. <laughs> um, the well, you next... can put anything and everything on it too. Yeah. So it's always different. Plus it's like self-contained, you know, so it just, mm-hmm. everything's in one bite. It's so good. It's perfect. Um, all right. This next one, are you a morning person or a night person? Morning. hundred percent. I know that one too. And my magic time is from 5 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. There you go. There you go. (laughs) Early bird. All right. Got another food one coming in. Pancakes or waffles? Oh. (laughs) Unexpected. (laughs) Yeah, it is. Waffles. I'm making waffles. (laughs) Waffles are like pizza. You have their perfect delivery devices because of all the little squares and you can just make every bite the best bite. Yes. Okay. And, um, so you, do you prefer waffles then? I do prefer waffles to pancakes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And here's my perfect way to eat a waffle. You take, you get the fresh waffle, the Belgian waffle with the big holes and you take all the butter and you make sure that you spread it so that it melts into all the little buckets on the waffle. (laughs) Buckets of butter. (laughs) <laughs> super not healthy super delicious and I think I'll take myself out for waffles for a brunch today yeah I support <laughs> that decision support it all right we've got two more this one fantasy or drama <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> fantasy like, are we talking novels or are we talking? Yeah. Well, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess my thought was um, like books, movies, uh, but I mean, yeah, let's ah. go with that. <laughs> I can't answer this one. <laughs> Hard stop. Um, fantasy or drama? Drama. 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 Settled yeah. on it. He made it there. <laughs> I made the decision that drama is more fun and entertaining. Um, and we're talking like suspense drama in particular. Yeah. yeah. But fantasy is awesome as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, hard choices. All right. Our last one. Are you a person who prefers a phone call or a text? Oh, face to face. I'm yeah. going to put option C. Oh. Face to face. <laughs> Bold confidence. Make your own answer. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Sarah, if you, if someone's listening to this right now and they're thinking that maybe they want to join us in something at the sisters enchanted, but they're just not sure, what would you tell them? Go for it. Trust your intuition. Your body is telling you and your mind and heart are telling you that you are called to this for a very specific reason. And there is something here for you if you are called. Uh, Love it. Thank you so much for doing this. It has been very delightful to talk to you. I love hearing your stories and, um, I love like the highlight for me was when you said, I am an awesome person. And I really (laughs) hope that somebody else says that after hearing this today, because best thing I've heard all day. (laughs) It may be the best thing I've ever said. (laughs) (laughs) So good. All right. Well, Sarah, thank you again. And to everybody listening, thank you so much for hanging out with Sarah and I on today's episode of Expedition to Soul. If you have any questions about joining us in any of our programs at the Sisters Enchanted, reach out. We'll get you the information. And that is it for now. So until next time, I hope that you have an enchanted rest of your day ahead. If you liked this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast, please rate, review, subscribe. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, It will really help us spread everyday magic, intention, and intuition to the masses and helps us so much as a small business. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcasting platform so you never miss an episode. There are new episodes every Tuesday and astro forecasts for the week ahead every Friday. If there's any topics you'd want to hear, anything you want us to dive deeper into, shoot us an email at magic at the sisters enchanted.com. And as always, thank you so much for listening and being part of the community here at the sisters enchanted, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>